Come Down With Me is perhaps one of the most quintessentially British things. Us Brits just love it. If you don't know what it is, basically four or five guests who don't know each other all host a dinner party on different nights. They then secretly score each other out of town on how good or bad the dinner party was. Then the scores are revealed at the end of the week and the person with the highest score wins. Sounds simple, right? Also sounds very British. But it's not all tea and crumpets because it can provide some crack and entertainment. The guests don't know each other and there's no guarantee that they'll get on. You have iconic moments like this. In fourth place is me. Oh. <clears throat> you won, Jane. Oh my God. Enjoy the money. I hope it makes oh you very God. happy. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jane. And this. See what that tastes like. Perfect. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to look at some of Come Down With Me's biggest freakouts. Let's go. And yes, today I'm not showing my face. Call us lazy. Tonight, I'm going to represent the men. I'm going to go in there full guns, glory and blazing. <laughs> now we're two seconds in and already you can see the drama brewing. Represent the men. Yeah, okay, Harry -o. Got that. The men. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Oh, sorry, for a second there, I thought I tuned into CBBS. I hope she's got the tagines, is it? Tagines? Tarines? Tagines. Yeah, tagines. No, I still don't think that's quite right. Represent the men, though. Yes. What do you think of the wellies, then? Do I'm you... loving it. I'm loving the swag right now. It's very festival Would you festival. wear them to a dinner party? I don't know if I would, mm. but they, they suit you. <laughs> oh, yeah, so she personally wouldn't wear them, but on you, they look amazing. Just like Beyonce. That's been... proper chav. No, yeah, I am a chav. You're not a chav. Of course I am. No, I thought you was a lady last night. I'm a night. chav queen. A chav queen. Nothing wrong with being a chav. Nothing wrong with it. Yes. Well, the thing is, you just got <laughs> big-headed because you're the only man among us. It is among us. Let's just pause it there and let's just remember what this lady says for future reference. Uh, the sweet with the main. Yeah. But, mm, to me, it's really tender. Can I have a Very word? Nice. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, just have some food before it goes cold. Did you How rude are you? She was already Deb, talking. I want to shut her down. Yeah, but she was. Listen. You butted in on her. Listen. That's rude. Oh, go on, you tell him. I don't even know why I needed to say that. What was the point in saying that? It's just pick, 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 pick. He did it on my starter, and now he's doing it on my main. Why? Why does he feel the need? He's representing the men, apparently. Doesn't represent me, I tell you that. I'm the Joker, I've got to be. Oh yeah, I don't think you are mate, sorry to break it to you. And on that note, we'll leave it there. Oh wait, not quite. <laughs> what was he doing again? I'm going to represent the men. Yeah, I think not. Moving on to the next episode now and meet Mark and Lizzie. Izzy, sorry. Now according to the title, tensions rise between them in the next five minutes. Ooh, oh yes. Ooh. He's already given me a bit of attitude as soon as he walked in the gate, so, you know, bring it on. Bring it on. I'm going to say a few words, because that's what one does at formal events. Oh, yeah, we we'll go. Nicole, you look absolutely stunning. Guys, you look very dapper. So here's to a good night. Cheers. 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 My goodness, that was, that was the most life-changing speech I've ever heard. It's changed, it's changed everything. This changes everything. So Izzy here is about to serve her fully homemade starter. Here it is, Stilton mushrooms served on toast with watercress leaves. Or as me and most other people like to call it, cheese on toast. I was praying that you somehow had separated the Stilton for the rest of it because I can never in my life let Stilton pass oh, really? my lips again. It's too strong for you. This week I've tried food that is not to my taste. So I think maybe he could have just tried a little bit, that would have been... Polite. I agree, actually. I agree. Anybody else agree? Can you smell elderflower? Yes, elderflower. Oh, yes, elderflower. That's it. That's the one. Mark clearly couldn't give a f could he? Now, Izzy, bless her, so she's quite snobby. Couldn't be more opposites, these two, could they? That's why they clash. Etiquette at a supper, generally, or a dinner in the evening. You know, don't put others on the table when you're eating. Um, okay, can we, can we just hear that again? Don't put others on the table when you're eating. Right, so, uh... Why have you got your elbows on the table then? Who knows? Who knows? So you approve of us? Yeah, I do. Liar. I would Aww. happily take you to any woodland party. What is a woodland party? Anyone know? And that, boys and girls, is where we'll leave it for today. If you like this, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. But if you do, do... If you do do, if you do anything, please do subscribe. If you're sad about this video coming to an end, you can always watch one of my other ones. And if you've watched all of them, just re-watch them. And this is where you're going to see me briefly now because the salute is important on this channel. You have a good day and I'll see you later.